Hey guys, now that we briefly understood the main differences between permutation and combinations, we will be starting off this chapter with combinations, which has further been divided into different cases. In this video, we will be having a look at case one. Case one talks about the different selections that you can make when there are no restrictions and no conditions. This can be fully understood through an example, which says, how many ways can four flowers be picked from nine different flowers? Now, before we continue, if you guys remember from the previous video, NCR is our combination notation, where N is a total number of objects in your pool and R is the number of objects to be selected. Given that there are no restrictions in this question, they have not identified exactly which flowers need to be selected. There are no restrictions and therefore we simply have nine flowers from which we have to choose four. We put this into our calculator using the NCR notation and our answer will come to 126. There are 126 ways of choosing four flowers from nine. Let's have a look at another question. It says, how many teams of 11 can be formed from a group of 19 boys? So once again, you just need to choose 11 from a group of 19. There are no restrictions. They have not talked about arrangement. They do not care about in which order are these teams formed. All they care about is the different ways of selecting 11 boys from a group of 19. So we use the combination notation again. Out of 19 boys, we are choosing 11. 19 C 11 gives you 7, 5, 5. Two. There are 75,582 ways of selecting 11 boys from a group of 19. In this question, it says that we need to choose 6 balls from 5 yellow balls and 3 red balls. In how many ways can this be done? Since the question has not specified that these 6 balls have to have a certain number of yellow balls or a certain number of red balls, we can tell that this selection will have no restrictions and no conditions. So looking at our total number of objects, which are eight, we have eight balls. It doesn't matter what their colors are. We need to choose six balls from eight and using our calculator, our answer is 28. There are 28 ways of choosing six balls from eight. Now this question says, how many different bouquets can a girl form from a bunch of five different flowers? You may assume that a one flower bouquet is possible. Now notice that in this question, they have not specified how many flowers need to be in a bouquet. So there is no way of just choosing a certain number of flowers from five. So we need to list down all possible cases, all possible different bouquets that we can form from five flowers. So we know that a five flower bouquet can be formed, but that is not the only possibility. We can also form a four flower bouquet. We can form a three fla fla flower bouquet. We can form a two flower bouquet and we can also form a one flower bouquet. So if you say this out to yourself, you are basically saying that I can form a five flower bouquet or I can form a four flower bouquet or I can form a three flower bouquet or I can form a two flower bouquet and lastly I can form a one flower bouquet. Now to actually understand why I have written or over here we need to understand the concept of logical operators. Whenever you write or between your cases, such as in this question where I have chosen five flowers or four flowers or three flowers and so on, we need to add each case. We need to add within the cases. However, when we, when we talk about and, we need to multiply. And an example of this will be shown in the further cases that we do. So to choose five flowers, we technically need to choose five from five or 
which is a plus, we choose 4 from 5, or we choose 3 from 5, or we choose 2 from 5, or we choose 1. Using our combination notation in our calculator, we get 1 plus 5 plus 10 plus 10 plus 5, which gives you 31 ways of forming different bouquets from five different flowers. And this is our answer. So to conclude, case one is when there are no restrictions and conditions. We simply need to choose a certain number of objects from the total number of objects. We do not need to arrange. We simply just need to select and form different combinations. Like in question number four, if they have not specified how many different objects are to be selected, we need to make different cases and then add all the cases. Thank you.